Mel here, and today I am going to review Girl of the Year 2016, Leah Clark. And first off, I renamed my Leah Lena Baker um, because she is going to be a character from Chicago, and I believe she loves hula hooping because I've recently gotten into that. Um, so. I kind of think it would be fun to have a doll who's into the whole hoop dancing thing. Um, and I got her on June 11th at American Girl Place Chicago, which is why I wanted her to be from Chicago. Um, but anyway, so now I'm going to review Lena, or aka Leah. So first off, Leah comes with this colorful knit dress that has paracord braided on the as a belt around the waist and it's kind of a drop waist and it's also on the straps and she also comes with this cute compass necklace it sort of works in that it actually turns, but I don't believe it actually works like a real compass, so I don't think you can go out and orienteering and actually use it that way, but it is a step up from Kit's necklace in that it actually does move, so that's really cute. And then she also comes with these cute sandals that are blue, yellow, like light greenish or yellow, and then like the pink. And they go slightly with her outfit, but not too much because the blue in her dress is much darker than the blue on her sandals. Um, the yellow matches the cording, and then the pink might or might not match one of the shades of pink in her dress. Um, and then, so she comes with that. And you can also get, oh, and Leah also comes with lime green underwear. And like the past few dolls, Girl of the Year dolls, she does not have a symbol, um, which is kind of sad because I do like the symbol that came with them, um, but, you know, that's okay, and it's pretty much the same type of material that Grace's underwear was, and also um, that Mary Ellen's are, so it's not the cotton that Isabel's was. And Leah also comes with a cute messenger bag. This actually comes with the doll. Um, and it's cute. It has Velcro closure. And it fits most of her accessories from her maid accessory set. And one thing you can get optional with Leah is you can get her ears pierced. Um, so I did that because I figured they're exclusive, so why not? And I already have my 22s has her ears pierced as well, so they can switch between the earrings. And in the earring set, you get two sets of colorful flower. Um, it's pink and it has colorful flower on it. You also get green butterfly earrings and you also get these cute beaded dangles that have a pink hoop loop and then an orange one. So they look really cute. And that is $16 if you get that. Again, it's optional, so if you don't want your Leah's ears pierced, you don't have to have them, but 
you will not get the earrings otherwise because um, you have to get them with Leah getting her ears pierced. Um, and for Leah's accessory set, she comes with, her accessory set comes with a braided headband that also has pink paracording on it and pink and yellow woven into the braids. This is my first hair accessory that has the, um, that has doll hair on it. So I'm not sure how well the braid part will hold up. Um, once you put it on your doll, you definitely have to be careful brushing her hair because you don't want it to snag. Um, and it could probably snag otherwise, so again, I'm not sure how well that part will hold up. But otherwise, it does look cute on her. And she also has a 3-in-1 Wish bracelet set that has a cute sea turtle charm on it. And it has a yellow wish bracelet that says nature and harmony, an orange one that says courage and strength, and a pink one that says friendship and love. So those are the bracelets and they are all knotted together on the bottom and the sea turtle charm is stitched to that. And then also the accessory set you get her camera that it does not move which is kind of a bummer because um, I have an R generation camera and you can actually pretend to focus it um, so that's kind of sad but the screen looks a little bit more realistic than the R generation one because the screen part is different color from the rest of it which is black um, where I think the R generation one is all black um, so that's at least a little better and this camera is definitely better than Kanani's because the doll can actually hold the camera and she can also have it around her neck so the camera comes with on either side there is clear plastic that has um, an opening and so you take that and you just snap it onto her finger so that she can actually hold the camera and you actually can use that also to take off part of the strap you can do it on either side so over time you may have to be careful in case it anything outstretches but hopefully you know that hopefully it won't come apart you know and you won't lose it but the strap does come around come off so that you can put it around her neck and then attach it that she can have it around her neck and so again it's much better than Kanani's camera where she can't even really hold it anyway <laughs> no matter what um, so I do like this and it's also more realistic than Jess's butterfly camera although I do love Jess's butterfly camera just because it's so cute and unique <laughs> That is Leah's camera, and she also has a passport, which is not like real passports because it is different color and it has butterfly on it, um, so it's not extremely authentic, but it's cute. It has her birth date, which is August 14th, 2005 her place of birth which is Missouri and her the date of issue which is the 1st of September 2015 and 
It expires the 1st of September 2020. And then she has a little sea turtle and a flower and another sea turtle and then a butterfly. So she's got a few things stamped in her passport. Also in her meat accessories, you get these little postcards or photographs, um, actually. So she gets photographs. There's a sloth, which is really cute, and a toucan, and a sea turtle, and a little margay. So those are the photographs that she has of the animals. And then lastly, she also has a little National Geographic magazine or book on sea turtles. And I've heard that this is a very good replica from the large version of it. So it has different facts and different pictures. So that's just really cute. I haven't actually read it yet, but it looks really nice. Um, so those are Leah's meat accessories, as well as Leah the doll. And also, when you get Leah, she comes with her first book, which is Leah Dives In. And she will come in the purple Girl of the Year box. Um, so but she is really cute and her dress does have the snaggy velcro um, but that's okay a lot of Leah dresses like mine do not match up at the seams some you will find that match up others will not um, if you have a huge preference you should probably try to look for a matching or closely matching one in the store or if you don't care then you know whatever <laughs> um, I didn't care and but yes more about Leah the doll um, Leah has a new eyebrow um, it's arched unlike other ones which are more rounded so depending on how the eyebrows are placed and the actual doll's face. Um, you might find Leah's that look a bit more angry than others. Um, I tried to find one that looked pretty sweet and not angry all the time. Um, different angles can also make her look a little bit angrier in some instances than others. So, um, it just depends on how the angle that she's photographed as well. And she has hazel eyes. They have a dark ring around them. And mine have a bit of a sea foamy green color. But they may just also be just a regular variant. They are lighter than Isabel's. My Isabel has the dark hazel. And my Mary Ellen also has the dark hazel, so her Leah's are lighter, and I believe all Leah's have a lighter variant, so there are definitely different variants at one time. You can kind of see here how dark um, Mary Ellen's is compared to Leah's. You can definitely see that. Um, so some people think that Leah's might be a unique variant and others just think it's a normal variant. Um, I'm not quite sure. I haven't really 
compared her to all of my hazel eyed dolls yet. Um, but I do think it could be its own variant, seeing as both Isabel and Mary Ellen have the darker version. But I guess you would have to think of um, the Truly Me dolls that have the hazel and the newest ones. So I don't know what color or what variant the newest number 21 would have or the newest number 55. So they might be closer to light again. Um, but there's definitely more than one hazel out at one time. And Leah has lovely caramel colored hair with some nice sun-kissed highlights. And her hair is layered and wavy, which is really gorgeous. The longest strands come down to about her knees, so it is shorter than Kanani's. But it's really pretty. I actually think I love this more than Kanani's. Um, because I had a Kanani, but I kind of felt that hers was a bit too long. Um, so I really love Leah's. And she has the standard, uh, stitched part. And it's a side part. And so I think that's pretty much it. She has the Josefina mold with medium skin tone. And overall, she is a really pretty doll. I wasn't sure at first if I was going to get her. Um, but then I kind of decided to when I was in Chicago, since who knows when the next time I will be there will be. Maybe someday I'll go back, but chances are it wouldn't be for a long time. Just because of stuff like money and all that, but I was very happy to be able to go to Chicago and also Wisconsin where I stayed for the week and see my friend and so she is a very nice doll that I got in Chicago. And if you want Leah, I do recommend her. And I think she is worth the money. So um, I definitely think she is cute, whether you keep her as Leah or whether you change her up like I did. But anyway, so this is Leah, or as mine is, Lena. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching. Bye.